that they see here that's growing the breaker uh, uh, once every 24 hours. Not a good thing. I, th I think that it's overcharged. It's, it's, uh, ought to go pretty quickly. Very, very cold. That part's fine. You know, nothing wrong with cold. Working. But throwing the breaker. My coworker. Got a strange compressor, it's ice cold all the way here, so something's definitely not right. I'm gonna check this charge. I got some gloves here. Crazy Monday. What I'm gonna do is hopefully this doesn't throw the breaker before I can get to this. You know, it's kind of a strange combination is want to let the unit run five minutes to get an accurate measure. Also, uh, I'll probably, I brought my recovery tape because I think I'll be recovering a bit of refrigerant. But when you're recovering, we don't want to recover a whole unit with running the compressor because we don't want to take out the oil from the compressor. This one, I will need to recover a little bit of refrigerant. And in those instances, recovering it this way is somewhat around 42 on the low side. Now we'll check the high side. high so gonna hook up now we'll be recovering liquid so I'm gonna go into the liquid side because the compressors running the liquid side has a dip tube it runs to the bottom or at least so, towards the bottom hence that's why we're hooking up to the liquid side as we'll be dumping liquid into the tank
overcharged this side. Oh yeah, it's just way overcharged. And then so I'm gonna open the high side and let it burn into the recovery tank. Here it goes. And I'm just gonna bring this a little at a time. Go real slow. So this one should be down to about 107. Definitely overcharged. And you can see on the low side, it's coming down. So it's just overcharged. Now we're down to 120. Much better already. My coworker replaced the contactor. You can see it's already a little bit burned, but what's happened is it's pulling high amps when it restarts, so. But what I should have done is shown you an amp draw. It's probably a little bit too late already, but that's okay. Uh, so, volts AC. Looking on the common wire. Oh, we want an amp. Amps AC, not volts AC. Okay, one wire only. 12.86 amps. Okay, on the red wire. 11.39 amps. You can actually leave this hooked up. Okay, we're gonna go back to recovering. And we're gonna bring this down to about 107 and do it nice and slow. And I hate to recover this much refrigerant as doing it this way, we're gonna lose some oil, but it must be done. dropping already 11 point try to set this somewhere where you can see it better 11.2 kind of interesting right a little scary that we might lose some oil but there's some little bits of debate on that. The other way would be to turn the unit off, let everything settle, and then recover some refrigerant with a recovery machine, or, or just if you have an empty tank, you can let things equalize a little bit. Or mostly empty and you see my amp draw is coming down, so this is working. And that may be the better way to do it, is empty recovery tank, turn the unit off completely, and then recover the refrigerant. So I'm not recovering that much refrigerant, so I don't think I'm gonna lose all my oil. And at this point, if I did, then it'll be me replacing the compressor, but. That's the story. Okay, we're just trying to go a little bit at a time here. You can see our amp draw dropping already. It was at 11.2. We've already dropped it to 10.6. It's great. A little at a time. A lot of factors with air conditioning work, you know. Some of this, you may be better hiring somebody else to do this. Um, definitely can't do this unless you have your EPA license anyway. So, you need to be certified. You can see our amperage dropping. So that's what happens when you're overcharged, you can cause a much higher amp draw, too much of an amp draw. 
see we've dropped almost a full amp. We're at 10.2 now, you know, right around there. Much better. And you can hear the compressor. It's a much happier compressor too. Boy. But looking at the high side, I may want to stop here looking at the low side. Look, we're too cold in the evaporator coil. One thing I should tell you is I reset the breaker on this. I also changed the air filter so it's a new You've got air a little filter. bit of a problem there. In that we don't want that evaporator below 32 degrees, so something to watch for. Look at our amp drop. 9.6 amps. So much better. But our low side is too cold. Co complex, complex thing here. Alright. Okay, so I've gone down as much as I dare go because we're on lower than 32 degrees so I need to bring the low side up so I'm going to recharge some of the refrigerant and my temperature outside says it's 102 degrees you can see our amp draw climb back up a little bit but I don't want that coil to freeze and so herein is the dilemma It looks to me like we have a poorly sized, maybe a poorly sized compressor. So that's the tricky part is, right, I'm gonna have to strike a balance in between, you know, I just don't wanna run the coil where it would freeze. So if I can get it to 35 degrees, I'm gonna call that good. See our amp drop coming back up a bit, so it's going to be the balance between you can hear the compressor. We're at 10 10.2 amps, so and we're at about 30 on the evaporator coil. get to like 35 then I'll strike that balance in between the high and the low side there's 32 we're freezing now recover the liquid that's in the line so that's going to put us right at 35. We're at 120 on the high side coil. Let's recheck the temperature outside. Still says 77. Feels a little bit warmer to me. Let's say 80. And ambient plus 30 would be 110. So 
so we're still a little high, but I can't have the coil freeze. So I'm gonna call that good. As good as I can get it. Our amp drop is not so high that it's gonna Compressor is not so as cold as it was before, so that's good. All right. See, so we're just below 35, and once I recover this liquid refrigerator, then that's going to put us there. So I'm going to shut my deal here. I had to get it slightly higher to compensate. Let's see what our... I'm gonna have to return this on as it turned off. 10.5, it's good. 10.6, right in there. Okay, detach the high side. Uh oh, I hear this leaking. Not so good valve there, I hear it. Not good. I'm gonna need to send this one back and get a new deal. It's not shutting off very good. I think we got it now. Okay, so now we're gonna recover the, we're gonna detach the high side hose. cover this liquid refrigerant into the hose. So I'm going to open this side all the way. And now we're no longer sort of detached from our tank. And then we're going to bring it over into the low side, nice and slow. As I was telling you, that's going to bring us up a little bit right where we want to be. You hear the compressor responding. You can see our amp drop. 10.6. We're below 11, so that's good. So we dropped about half an amp, maybe a little bit more. Okay, we're all recovered there. Now we're right at 35, right where I wanted to be. We had to strike that balance because we don't want the coil to freeze. It is what it is. Here's our cap. Make sure the O-ring's inside. where we want to be. We're above freezing on the coil, nice and cold. We're removing a lot of heat from the unit, keeping the compressor cold, but not so much refrigerant that it has to run a high amp drop. We're now at 10.6 amps. It's a good deal. Recovering the refrigerant that way wasn't perfect. The compressor may go, you know, we need to know that been replaced before. Worst case scenario, we need to change out the compressor. This would be a pretty clean change out. Detach here, detach there. Not too bad if it came down to it, but hopefully we don't need to go there. It's a done deal. So get my meter back. Here's on the common side. Oh, take it off hold. 
12.2. On the red side, 10.8. It's good. Done deal. Yay. We reduced our amp draw, we lowered our changed the air filter first to make this better, so it's a done deal. Thanks for watching. Come through maintenance. Um, I'm going to add this little dust protection cover. This deal. Hopefully keep that contactor alive a little bit longer. Now we're not so overcharged. Had to strike the balance between all the factors. Done deal. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance, over now. Striking the balance on an air conditioner charge.